to be like, make sure to subscribe button and like. Today we're going to be building a building, and this, there are very important steps in building buildings. And before we continue, if you haven't watched the first part, please watch the first part. It's very important. And in the first part, we build the entire sidewalk. And the second part, we're going to be building the town hall, which is a very important part of the city. We're going to start. It's going to be a fairly large building. This large. I have is that like um, a dot width? It's also good to just make some plans because like you should probably do how I'm building this, just like just wing everything. Because who knows what I'm missing right now. So I'm actually recording this the day the first part was recorded. So it should be a week before when this is going to get one thing uploaded. And it's and when creating building a building, don't try and just build it monotone. Add variations like this, like brick pieces, not just plain pieces. Holes or brick. Well, just or the other quick option is just creating one new one. Like creating, I mean, not full, creating a new one, creating a new color, adding color into this too, like this red, brown, which I want to also include. So I might as well that. So I think I'm going to collect some parts. That was a long time lapse. And so, as you see now, we have a lot more bricks. And I haven't exactly explained what this building is for, anyways, have I? Um, this building is really for like, um, like, kind of like a factory. And not like a factory, like a shop. Like a huge supermarket. That's what this is. I don't, there's going to be something over here and like something over here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in there anyway. And yeah, I'm just going to continue building. I'm going to now a much larger building, and which poses some problems. And before we continue, I'd like to note that the building large buildings is difficult to build. Building a large building is fun. You just need to know pieces. And in the last video, I was talking about how you should, how you should just overcount everything in the world. Just overcount. And we just like underestimate how much we can actually build, when in reality, we build a lot more. This is a huge problem. But this time, and I'm at the. If I just use these bricks, I'm, I'm extremely uh, overconfident right now. Let me get that half, which means it's time to bring on something new. Let me introduce you to frames. These frames are things you can just, just remove so much. Can, it uses so much less bricks, it uh, makes it less monotone. And most importantly,
So I've just finished building the building. It's been a few weeks since I actually started the building. And it's the building, so there's a bit of a gap. I'm sorry about that. It's been a very few busy weeks for me. So anyways, I've finished the building. And there's lots you can... It's, it's huge, of course. I mean, this is because it's all one color. There's a lot of panels that I don't think I've built. Well, now it's just the exact same color over and over again. And there's lots you can see here. Like, keeping it one color is not good. I'm keeping it small. I mean, I was forced to... There are 1 by 16 bricks in here, but still. I still try to make create textures and not make it like some gray buildings. Because it's not... It's not supposed to be a gr just a building. Of, it's just it's supposed to be some like a factory. And this is supposed to be more something like a, a really huge uh, supermarket or something. Because right now it's a supermarket, and and next is that using the panels helps save you tons of costs. While building bricks, it's very, it's a nice tip because, and because, not everyone even has like millions of bricks to like pour into creating slab monotone great buildings that you can build that you can sleep in. Instead, it's just you're using panels. You use less bricks because you're using less. Bricks to cover more air. Third is texture. There are many textured bricks across this. If bricks for placing bulletin boards, that's not really, not really textured, but it can be. Um, textured bricks like wall bricks, brick bricks, mason bricks, I guess. And there's even some holes, like just where rats can through or something like that. And then, finally, use different colors sometimes. Then this is supposed to be like an antiquated build, like an old build, so it makes sense adding different colors. And we're actually going to shift, and however this is a extremely large building, it's a square building. So I'm actually going to shift the building to another part of the city I've been building. And... Okay. Especially the milk. As you can see, there's a lot more, um... It's not as square. There's lots of textured bricks, lots of windows. There's even some weird slopes just cutting through. I can top these green for I don't want to add a roof to this, but using different types of bills. You just all go with the leftovers. I kind of like this build. Looks like some really old building with a snack, cat bay or something. And those lines. And another build that I built another building just to show like how you can use multiple colors in the And there. Buildings. Both things are actually kind of simple, aren't they? I think. And here's what I'd say. No. They're actually too simple for them, good. Because there's not so, there's no proof real perfection, is there? It's a building in the end. It's just a building. And it seems weird that saying a building is a building and then creating a tutorial just because it's around the building. The problem is, I don't think anyone wants to see square boxes of buildings over and over again repeated. They want variation. They want old buildings next to new, modern buildings next to older ones. My point is, no one just. The reason this part of the tutorial exists is not for like, oh yeah, it's people could learn this. It's, 
maybe or not. These are just some simple things that help make it even better. This is kind of one of the reasons this show is actually quite short. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't edited it yet. But anyways, make sure you don't forget to subscribe button and like. And in the next tutorial, we'll be doing some, the interiors. I think, I, it's been a few weeks since I wrote, but okay. City, this, but that's going to be the week after because City Update 30 is kind of more important. So make sure to subscribe and like, and bye!